Hey guys, Avik here. So in previous video, I talked about two things, uh, Docker Desktop and Docker NG. So as I mentioned, Docker Desktop is um, going to give us a graphical user interface uh, along with Docker Engine and few more stuff. So let's start with installing process, installation process for Docker Desktop. So I mentioned that I have an uh, guest operating system running inside VirtualBox. So I have Ubuntu installed in VirtualBox. So let's start with this. So let's boot up the machine. And as I mentioned, you can download Docker Desktop inside your Windows and Mac as well. But usually you will deal with Linux a lot if, if you are going to use Docker. So let's uh, run the Linux. So it's just booting up my Ubuntu. might take a while so let's uh, go through the steps so here uh, on uh, docker desktop installation process uh, since we are going to do it on ubuntu uh, not docker engine but docker desktop and we are going to do it on linux going to do for Ubuntu so we will download this package dot db package this one and not here we want to do it in our Ubuntu so we will just paste this link inside that operating system and it's going to take a while so we can download it here but then we have to do some sharing and all so from this my windows hard drive to that guest operating system hard drive and stuff like that so let's do it in ubuntu itself so here is my ubuntu i'm going to put password here and let me see if i can scale it up a bit it's a bit pixelated I think this should be fine let me see once we are there so we are in Ubuntu I'll, I'll just see yeah this is fine just a bit pixelated so it, it should be fine so i'm going to open firefox here so it's like our operating system only so we can do all the stuff here that we can do in windows as well so we just look for docker and we are going to install docker desktop and i think it will take us to the correct page to install I will paste the link in the description below so you won't have to worry about it now we don't need this sign up and all not for now I'll just wait for documentation desktop install and as I was mentioning earlier 
think we accept cookies and all uh, so since uh, we are on ubuntu so we just select platform ubuntu here and, and download this uh, db package and then we have installation instruction prerequisite and all so okay it shows that uh, ubuntu 24.04 is not supported yet So let's try to run this once uh, because it's the latest one so I think it will be resolved in future otherwise I will just install uh, a bit lower version and we will see. think it completed so let's open the terminal here and let's see what all command we had so we downloaded the package already but requirements I think our system is not going to meet the requirements but let's see we will paste it here it will give the password I think there were two lines separate let's see anyways if it, it will fail if if it doesn't work <laughs> in the worst case okay this is neat and here we have to select that package thing so i'm not selecting that second line And I'll put all this command in the video description. Sorry, a video's uh, description box. So this is done, and next step is to install. So let's see, it will be in the download folder. So let's go to download. and we have to 
कॉपी पेस्ट सेट नेम किया couldn't find package let me try that's the command wait like this Showing error means it didn't work out. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, it, it didn't install. Let, let's do this one one line at a time Okay, I think it won't work out for Ubuntu 24.04 so I'll just I have Ubuntu a lower version in my pen drive so I'll just install it quickly in that other video series that I created earlier uh, I'll mention this issue but hopefully in the future it will be resolved anyways it's just temporary issue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down this machine as it won't work out Twenty-two Maybe because of same password or same username. Yeah, it was same username, that's why. 
because last time 10 was very much finish and I'm not going to rename but I'm going to not remove but rename 